hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel so in this video we're going to look at the topic increasing and decreasing functions when is a function set to be increasing this is also one of the applications uh, of uh, differentiation okay so we said that if you have a graph for instance that a function is increasing if it is going up this way whether this way or a straight movement upwards so um, it can also be this way and all of that and then it is decreasing if it is going this way it's going downwards in any way that it chooses to go downwards now the implication is that if you have a, a function that increases as your x value is increasing remember this is our x and this is our y okay so of course as our x value if you watch now at this point this is what your x value is and this is what your y value is which is the function so but if our x increases to this point so you see that this is where it will meet this function and then this is the value of the function here which also increases from here to this place so you see as your x value is increasing the y value is increasing so you see that such a function is an increasing function but when you have a function that as x value is increasing the y value is decreasing instead so you call such a value uh, such a function a decreasing function this is an example so for instance if we trace from here to here if you trace it to the y axis maybe this could be maybe minus one now but if you now increase your y value trace it to the graph you see that it is also reducing so even as your x value is increasing your y value is, is reducing maybe here is minus two all right so such a function is called a decreasing function uh meanwhile we have what we call monotone increasing and monotone decreasing all right so a, a function is monotone increasing if in the domain of that function it is only increasing there are some functions that they increase at certain point or interval of the domain and then at certain interval of the domain they decrease so when you have such a function you say it is non-monotone then when a function is increasing all through the domain so for instance you have all these straight line functions and uh, if you have a function something like y equal to sine x so you recall that the graph of this is actually sinusoidal so it goes this way and all and all so if you have such a function where it increases at some point and decreases at some point you say that it is non-monotone increasing all right so we have examples here so meanwhile before we go here how do we know that a function is increasing at a particular point so there is a theorem that helps us look at that so this theorem says that suppose you have a function f of x a function of x that it is increasing at point x if the function is positive at that point sorry if f prime of x is positive at that point that's why we say is an application of differentiation all right so if you take the first derivative of that function and substitute the value of x into it and you get a positive value then you say that it is increasing at that point that means our f prime of x should be positive and then if uh, it is decreasing it should be negative that means this should be strictly less than zero it should be negative all right okay so let's look at some examples here so if we come uh, here we have here it says find the intervals for which the following functions are increasing or decreasing so we begin with the first one all right so what do we do we try to find the f prime of x which uh, if we do we are going to have that this will give us 2x plus 5 we try to see at what point is this going to be greater than zero so following that theorem it means that we should find the value of x for which 2x plus 5 is greater than zero and if we check that that means we should solve this inequality and that's going to give us 2x is greater than minus 5 and so our x is greater than minus 5 all over 2 
So for all values where x is greater than minus 5 over 2, you have an increasing function. So that means for x less than minus 5 over 2, your function will be decreasing. Okay, and we can check uh, that by putting any value. Any value where x is greater than this, maybe 1. Of course, 1 is greater than this. So if you put 1 into this function, if you put 1 here, you are going to have 2 plus 7, sorry, plus 5, which is equal to 7. And so it is positive. So it's actually increasing at the point of x equal to 1. All right. So and if you check any one negative, if you put uh, not just negative, less than this. So for instance, this thing is 2.5. So 3 minus 3 is less than this. So if we put minus 3 here, you are going to have uh, minus 6 plus 5, which is equal to minus 1. And that means it is negative at that point. So if you put it graphically, what it means is that uh, if this place is minus 5 over 2, so from here upwards, not from here, any number greater than this, up to positive infinity is going to be. So to put it in interval form, that means you are going to have minus 5 over 2 up to positive infinity. Any number between this, this is going to give this function increasing uh, property while if you have negative infinity up to this minus 5 over 2 that's going to be the increasing part all right sorry decreasing part so let's look at the second example all right and so if we differentiate this f prime of x is equal to you know if you differentiate this thing will come down it will cancel this so you have just x squared minus if you differentiate this you're going to have x alone the derivative of this is minus 12 so we're going to have minus x minus 12 is greater than zero so, so we are going to have here by quadratic equation this is going to give us uh, now this is a product and so for this product to be greater than zero that means it is either x plus 3 is greater than zero and x minus four is greater than zero or x plus three is less than zero and x minus four is less than zero and so if you solve this uh, whole uh, inequalities you are going to have that uh, x must be greater than minus three and x must be greater than uh, 4 or x must be less than minus 3 and x must be less than minus 4. So if you check the whole intervals we have here, the two that will capture the whole of this whole interval is this and this. So when x is uh, less than minus 3, that means it is at the extreme. So from here, minus 3 going down. And then when x is greater than 4, so from here going up. All right. So if you check the graph, it's going to be something of this nature. That's the nature of the function. So you see that at this point going this way, it is increasing. While at this point going this way, it is also increasing. All right. And so, and that is uh, what we have for the increasing interval. So at this intervals, that means our x less than minus 3 and x greater than 4. That is where we have uh, our function to be increasing. All right. And then you can check any point here. You can pick anything less than this, maybe minus 4. If you put minus 4 here, you're going to have 16. 16 minus 4 is 12. And uh, if you put... Uh, uh, 12 sorry minus minus 4 is actually plus 4 so 16 plus 4 is 20 20 minus 12 will give you a positive uh, 8 and so now what about the negative interval so the negative interval that means where your function is going to be decreasing is everything between this place from here to this point all right and that means where we have uh, minus 3 up to positive 4 it has to be an open interval anything between minus 3 
and positive y. You can check, you can use 1, for example. If you put 1 here, you will have uh, 1 squared is 1 minus 1 minus 12. Of course, this is equal to minus 12, which is negative. That means it is decreasing at that point. And so finally, we go to the last example where we have x squared all over 4 minus 8x plus 3. So here, example 3. Right, so just as usual, take the derivative. In fact, let me allow you to do this, uh, finish this one. If you take this derivative, you are going to have, uh, it's going to give you x all over 2 minus 8. Okay, so take time to go through this and uh, finish it and find the interval. You can drop your answers to that into the comment section below. Please kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel. And we will see you in our next video. Like, comment, and share our YouTube videos. Bye.